welcome to our today's episode on offshore oil and gas sector before we start this video i insist you to like and comment on this video it is very important for us that you subscribe to our channel so today's episode is about natural gas liquids so uh, you can see the diagram on the screen and uh, natural gas liquids are the called as condensates like uh, i can draw an analogy to explain the natural gas liquids like for example if you have seen a steam pipe from where uh, you can see the steam which is coming out or maybe i can simplify it as a pressure cooker from which you can see the steam comes out and if we put our hand in the discharging steam we can feel that our hand becomes somewhat wet because that steam has certain water particles very minute water particles uh, which the steam carries with itself same way when we talk about the uh, gas which is coming out from the reservoir in many cases uh, we can find that the gas is a wet gas that wet gas is exactly analogous to the steam which is having the water droplets in it same way there are lighter fractions of petroleum fluid in that gas that is called that is why it is called as uh, it is called it is called as a wet gas because it is wet and uh, this what uh, this uh, liquid hydrocarbon uh, droplets that they can be separated from this ga gas when this wet gas is cooled this uh, droplets they condense and they get separated from the gas the gas becomes a, a dry gas and uh, these particles uh, are called as a, a natural gas liquids and the temperature at which uh, they separate out from the gas is called as a hydrocarbon dew point temperature so here uh, to simplify that i can give you uh, we can see that uh, this total uh, the blue color this is shown is the methane ch4 this is a, a complete dry gas and uh, within the methane we can find some components that is ethane of course this proportion will differ uh, from uh, reservoir to reservoir every reservoir will not have the same composition of uh, this uh, natural gas liquids and the methane of course in majority of the case 99 percent of the case uh, the major component of this wet gas is methane that is why it is shown uh, occupying a larger space then comes the propane butane and the condensate pantenes they are called and these are the energy components of the uh, wet gas because these uh, components when they are uh, we, we burn we get heat and uh, we get the energy and there are other uh, non-energy components also which is nitrogen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and helium. Uh, they are also taken, uh, they are also separated from the um, uh, natural gas by means of some uh, cryogenic process. Uh, the, the topic of discussion is not how we separate out these uh, natural gas liquids and the non-energy component but to make the audience aware about these natural gas liquids and what are the different components of that. So now we will see in the next page uh, what are the applications uh, that is the use of these natural gas liquids. Like we have seen uh, here this is a table in short we are going to see uh, this is the ethane and basically uh, the plastic bags which we can see uh, polythene bags 
they are derived they are made from this ethane uh, uh, of course the, this is a combustible fluid uh, combust combustible uh, liquid and it can also be used uh, as fuel uh, then comes the propane uh, this is a residential and commercial heating cooking fluid uh, this is nothing but the uh, lpg gas uh, basically the lpg gas is a mixture of propane and butane so uh, the proportion of uh, each of these that is uh, propane and butane varies uh, depending on the season if it is a hot season then maybe the propane is having the higher proportion and the butane is less and in the winter season uh, it changes it's reverse it is reversed so then comes the butane uh, this is also a petroleum feedstock that is the natural gas liquid which we have seen and it is made for the uh, it is also apart from the lpg fluid, uh, fuel uh, it is also a component for synthetic rubber for the tires then comes the isobutane this isobutane is an integral uh, component of all the aerosol that is the deodorants and all the sprays uh, what we can see then comes the pentene so pentene basically is a uh, pantene is basically uh, we can say uh, it is used as a blending uh, um, agent or uh, solvent for the gasoline that is in petrol there are number of other uh, number of other components or uh, we can say solvents which are mixed with it so pantene is one of that then we have the last one is the pantene plus so blending with vehicle fuel this is also having the same uh, application but little bit different uh, exported for butamin production in oil sands so uh, when we have to uh, when we have to extract the butamin butamin from the oil sands then we have to blend it with this uh, pentene plus then the end use products are gasoline ethanol blend oil sand production See, oil sand production means uh, we, we know that in Canada, a lot of hydrocarbons are uh, in the oil sands. So these are actually oily sand and they are, I think, uh, washed and then they are uh, again uh, blended with this pentene and so many other uh, solvents and this uh, uh, crude basically which is uh, mixed in the sand that is recovered and then it is treated but that process is very costly but of course this pentene plus is a very important uh, element in the treatment of the oil sands so this is a short video about the natural gas liquids uh, i am awaiting for your comments to know that how you feel about this video and once again without fail uh, subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends and colleagues click the link in the description of this video the cost of the training offshore training is one tenth of the cost of the training program we provide in the video conferencing so do avail the advantage of this uh, lesser price and uh, once again have a nice day thanks for watching this video good day